the dragon wing. Hi, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com I'm now at uh, the suburb of uh, Palm Springs in Southern California, the desert town, Palm Springs. You can see there's a nice uh, uh, group of uh, mountains or hills up there. It under the uh, cloudy uh, sunshine weather, so you can see the color. It's much brighter than normally we'll see in the desert. And uh, it's now uh, about 5 p.m., so the sun is uh, at an angle. You can see the uh, shadows very well. And uh, uh, it reminds me of the Chinese uh, landscape painting, the wrinkle technique that we learned, the um, X cut or the uh, this the hemp fiber, you know the the kind of uh, wrinkle here. Actually, um, I should start with the uh, outline. Uh, pay more attention on the vein of the, the mountain, the ridge. We call it the dragon vein. The formations. The brush I'm using is a water brush with a ink in it in a reservoir, so I don't need to carry water. I also have a, a clear water brush in my other hand in case I need the color uh, or water. I can you know, dilute it the ink. The paper I'm using is Japanese rice paper. I'm using the wrong side, the coarse side, when I do landscape painting. I like love the uh, lighting there. You can see the texture of the rock. You can almost feel the texture. And you don't have to follow exactly what you see. You can compose the picture uh, based on the compositional um, structure that you have. Uh, you should build a peak representing the, the host, the majestic uh, mountain, and then the subjects. You can uh, imagine you uh, are in the in the in the sky in a in a bird's eye view, so you can arrange the mountains.
we work on the dark side to uh, kind of uh, fold out the, the light layer. So pay more attention on the uh, contrast of different uh, layers. In a cloudy day, you can see the color change suddenly from light to dark dramatically. So, you know, there's also a crop in the middle of the mountain that's really beautiful. In between the remote and the, the middle mountain. Very nice. In Chinese painting we have to uh, draw the clouds with lines then wash with the uh, color in the mirror. There was a storm uh, this afternoon and you can see the clouds and the beautiful blue sky. So in the uh, field you always try to capture the essence or the feeling of the landscape instead of uh, just uh, like a camera paint whatever you see you paint what you feel and the most important is record the colors uh, see I'm going to use color Now I'm using uh, watercolor blocks. Um, you can use any watercolor, um, like uh, the Marie's Chinese watercolor paints. Uh, she's uh, exhaust the, all the colors, so you get the natural variation of the colors. I got brown and a little bit brown and many the earthy yellow. What they call? Some a little bit orange color there. Some purple actually. It's a aut early autumn. I like the purple color. And more yellow. You can wet partially the, the paper and then uh, do the wash. The, the middle level layer of the uh, uh, mountains are in more blue color in contrast with the first layer. See, they're so dark. If I not seeing it in in my eyes, I want to believe this uh, color. Last layer is more blue. There are clouds to use the the background of the 
paper. You can dot the green uh, vegetations, also the foreground. I'll change another brush to do the sky. Look at the, the bright clouds behind the, the mountain. So we have to use color, not light in the traditional sommelier. Um, we're not, you know, against color in modern Chinese painting. Okay, just my quick sketch. It might be not perfect, but uh, it will remind me some uh, feelings I got uh, when I got home to do the final studio work. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. See you next time.